we will see how to construct a support vector machine for a multi-class problem. So we will construct a multi-class classifier using Python. In this example, we will use Iris dataset. So Iris dataset has four features, the simple uh, uh, length and width, and the petal length and width, and the class will be the type of the flower. So we started by installing by uh, running uh, uh, or importing a few libraries. So we do not need to install any any packages or libraries because we expect they are all installed from the previous videos. So we started by importing uh, SVM from sklearn. Then we imported a train uh, a test split from sklearn for splitting the data, and we imported a few other. Uh, utility function, uh, utility packages that we will use for processing and preparing our dataset. Then we read the training dataset. So our dataset, or the overall dataset, in fact, it's available as a CSV file attached with this example. Iris dataset is very popular, and it's also available from sklearn dot dataset. So feel free to download it and use it from that package as well. So you see in here we have four different features and one last or the last column is the label. Then we have 150 examples. When I, I plotted the uh, or I tried to, to show the shape of all the overall data set, it's 150 examples and five columns. Let's see the data type of each column. So it looks like all of them are float, which is good. So they are ready for us to start working on them. We checked for missing data points and to clean this data. It looks like we do not have any missing data points. If we do have, we can drop them or impute them. I like to shuffle the data and reorganize it randomly so the data is reorganized randomly so it's not ordered in a certain way. So if you look at the beginning when we started the data, it looks like it was sorted based on the target. So now it should be shuffled and reorganized randomly. Let's split our data and I will use the same convention that I use always, which is 60% and 40%. 60 for test for training and 40 for uh, validation, cross validation and, and testing. So therefore we divided the data into 90 and 60. The 60 is split into Three and uh, thirty and thirty. Which one? Which is one for cross validation, and the other one is for testing. Now let's plot or display the shape of our data. Uh, the training is ninety. Test and cross validation are thirty each. Let's pop the the, the remove the target or the class label, and plot the data. Just trying to see the relationship between each pair of variables and then show the description so we can see the minimum and the maximum this data set is uh, in different ranges so therefore i need to scale it uh, we remove the target or the label of the uh, or the actual label and we place them in three separate variables one for training testing and the last one is for cross validation we normalized our data by subtracting the mean and dividing by standard deviation. We constructed a method in here for that. And then we call this method for training, testing, and validation. And then saved the results in three different in new three variables. Then we displayed part of our data just to have a look at it. And it looks like, again, it's shuffled. The uh, indices are not uh, sorted. And the data is scaled and it looks within an acceptable ranges. Now we will use sklearn and this is where you can find the package and more information about sklearn uh, or uh, uh, scikit uh, learn about support vector machine from sklearn. And I will use or create svm and remember svm is an object that we imported from sklearn all the way on the top and then .sv just to create the settings and the configuration of the model. There are many parameters that you can play with for the support vector machine, but just for the sake of this video and this class, we will just focus on the C, which is the regularization term or the regularization parameter as well as the kernel. 
initially we will use a linear kernel that's very similar to logistic regression then feel free to, to pick any of these uh, other uh, kernels and evaluate them I fit the data as well as the uh, labels and then we try to predict the labels for the testing that set or the validation to fine-tune the parameters we also selected uh, randomly or we selected the last 10 examples from the test data set and we try to label them and display the results and it looks like the labels are from 0 to 2 as expected three different labels as you see in here training a support vector machine as a uh, binary classifier or multi-class classifier has no difference and in terms of the training because the model will determine how many classes you have automatically in Python and SQLR so you do not need to have a special treatment for binary classifiers uh, or multi-class classifiers so let's see how our training uh, has performed it looks like the accuracy the training accuracy is 97.7 .7. so the data is fitting perfectly on the uh, model the training data and the cross validation is having accuracy of 100 percent that means all of the data points has been classified correctly whereas the test data set has a performance of 93.3 percent now let's see the confusion matrix for our uh, results as you see in here we have three classes these are the true, true labels and these are the predicted labels and you see most of the data or all of the data is within this diagonal. So this is how we construct a support vector machine for multi-class classifier. Uh, please feel free to go back to the model itself and play with the kernel. Try different values for the regularization term C. Thank you.